What's up guys? This is the Broferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And so to pick up where we left off, we have Niccolo Luzzatto pushing against the city of Lahore. And this is going to really blow quite a significant gap in the uh, the, the Mughals' lines. We've we knocked out there most of their troops around Hyderabad. They're scattering in the east and then the north. The main force is going to be broken here before the walls of the city. So we're going to be doing... We're going to be assaulting fairly aggressively because they do have... I mean, it's not really a garrison we have to uh, worry about. We're not... So this force that's inside the city here is another bugged force that will... Once we've taken the city, they'll spawn outside, which we will then have to engage with a follow-up force. So we're going to be destroying this garrison plus this reinforcing army here. But then again, this is a force that we have previously engaged and is heavily damaged. So let's attack and take the capital of Lahore. Um, because we, re we really are in a position to make some quite significant gains against the uh, the Mughals in India. Um, the handful of cities they have left to defy us are well within our reach. And then if we take them, that will cause... Well, that will potentially cause the... Uh, well, it will cause the collapse of their forces in the Americas, making it much, much easier for our numbers to uh, overwhelm the continent. <clears throat> so, let's get ready. They do have a bunch of mortars, but we've got loads of artillery, and their reinforcements are all depleted, so that's not going to be a... not going to be a concern. We're going to be able to make swift work of the fort. So let's put my guns over here. So we've got some bugged gun teams. So we've got an extra cannon for each team than we would normally get. Same with the howitzers. So let's take a number of our troops out. Well, let's push them on to the left. I like deploying on the side that they give us the extra deployment zone rather than marching around the other direction. Then these four units and two sharpshooters will secure the breach. Group our heavy cavalry together. Group our hussars out, on, out wide. General in the centre. There's every chance these guys might intercept the enemy reinforcing army to switch our howitzers to quick climb and let's see what happens get them to just attack the center my field artillery just attack the the walls blow a hole in their lines here comes the quick climb it's not about trying to knock out their um, populist units it's chiefly about trying to knock out their mortar units, especially as it would appear our howitzers are within range. They are within range. Very well. Only of this team, though. Let's split the, the quick climbing a bit wider. These guys weren't firing, sadly. To be honest, these guys probably could push against the reinforcements and chase them away. Uh, our... Line infantry can push up ahead of the line, start to engage their troops I suppose by advancing we are also going to uh, free our howitzers from well we're going to provide more targets for their more targets for their um, mortars so we should get overwhelmed less To be honest, you guys might actually just push up and attack anyway. Switch our howitzers to round shot to focus on the breach. Push our infantry up on the right flank. Everyone else engage the head of the column that's emerged. 
You men get out of square. You men all mass against the enemy here. The walls have been destroyed here. So let's use the other guns to make another entrance, to make another uh, gap in the line. Our engineers are going to be in a good position to engage these dervishes, which well, almost everyone's going to be ready to engage these dervishes. <laughs> Keep our cavalry on the move. To be honest, could the garrison guards just run straight in? If the gates are destroyed, then why not? I mean, the mortar batteries are really putting a hurt on us. Putting some hurt, putting some hurt on us. Push our cavalry up just in case the Sipahi tried to sally out. The sharpshooters should still be... Well, actually the terrain's a bit dodgy there. So we're pushing away a lot of their... Well, we've pushed away their general, pushing away this unit of dervishes. The pikemen are attempting to charge the flank. And they might succeed. But we do have a significant amount of, enemy, of um, infantry in the area. So that will not save them on their own. Yeah, those are our skirmishes getting hit by the heavy cavalry. They are not long for this world. This regiment of foot will... Now form square. I'll try and get my skirmishes to retreat through the square itself. My garrison guards are in the fort. You men push and get engaged the Kizilbashi musketeers. These... Yeah, the pikemen have charged us on the flank. So let's... Run our grenadiers up to engage. try and surround the pikemen because this line infantry unit will fall alone so I want to push two units up to engage the musketeers my hussars may or may not win against those musketeers but the main thing is I want my grenadiers to fall against the flank of the pikemen here these units will more than adequately deal with those musketeers my garrison guardsmen can do some real damage there. The sharpshooters actually ran back into the combat. Good. You men pivot there. You men get inside. Same with the cavalry. Same with the sharpshooters. The garrison guards were engaged by a unit of armed populace. You men both engage the pikemen. That unit's been knocked out, so these guys can also run into the fort. I mean, once this bow unit has been annihilated, which it should do at any moment now, but then again, it is a, a garrison unit, so they generally do... Once they're outside of the walls, they stick around quite resolutely. My garrison guard's obviously doing a good job against the armed populace. Let's deploy a unit of line infantry to face off against that enemy infantry unit. Try to get the cavalry with this weak unit of cavalry to hit the armed populace. This stronger unit to hit the general's bodyguard. New men form up to engage the infantry. New men continue the charge. Let's get the 7th horse guards to hit the armed populace in the rear. The heavy cavalry will definitely see off their mortar garrison and it might also kill their general. There we go. This infantry unit is holding off the levy. You men run these men in. Get the sharpshooters also in. The gates are also damaged, destroyed over here, so let's halt the artillery fire. New men charge the centre, where the armed populace is. 
the glorious 54th going in to support my um, household cavalry, which may or may not actually do well. Oh, the Firelock Arm Populous are back. Charging my sharpshooters inside the house, which they will kill. Yeah, there we go. The reinforcements have been scattered. Get everyone in. All the gates have been destroyed. There must there might be my if I've got an agent in here, that could be them. Yeah, you men charge the armed populace, because you need to help out our sharpshooters. Might actually give them another unit to support. There we go, let's get the my heavy cavalry over there to help them out. Let's get my infantry, my guards onto the central position. My heavy cavalry can attempt to try and ease the burden there. These two infantry units are engaging the armed populace. We've got sharpshooters atop the walls. Got some engineers who are going to run straight over to support the battle on the flank. This is pretty neat. Is anyone going to make it to the roof? It looks like they're all being, they've all been engaged inside and on the ground floor. Heavy cavalry's charged in and made the levy question itself. Those men have charged the wrong way, but I believe that is the enemy now broken. Seamen form up to defend the square. Good stuff. That is the city of Lahore secured for the Italian states. And that's a real massive uh, blow to their northern flank. So they do still have a force here. What was that? Two. I think it's one and a half. There's another half. Each of he's drifting from side to side. I did see. Yeah, there. Okay. So it's actually he's actually in front from some angles. But there's definitely two guys stood there. Yeah, he's drifting. He's, yeah, there's one and a half stacks now. They vary who's standing in front. But let's get Mr. Lozato. New men replenish. Let's repair the buildings. Our spy, who I believe was, was responsible for destroying the gates, push on to Akbarabad. Where there are some rebels waiting. That's interesting. But let's take on a Bartolomeo Girolamo. You can hit them. Let's attack and destroy these forces in the field. But just a second, everyone. I've got to go sort something out. And I'm back. And you can uh, definitely see from the enemy force composition that they are a melee focused army. They've got some. They do have a unit of the 64 pounder great gun. So those will be interesting to destroy, but generally, it's a lot of dervishes, levy, Islamic swordsmen. Yeah, very much an irregular force. But Mr. Fer Mr. Ferrari, Mr. Ferraris, Ferraris, he has plenty of firepower at his disposal and will more than adequately destroy this Mughal force. We do have plenty of reinforcements, but I am um, endeavouring not to use them. Although, after this action, I may well combine some units together because I want to start using uh, recruiting some um, Gurkhas out of Kashmir because I do love to use Gurkhas. I mean as I've got a whole bunch of most of my units have pikemen but um, as part of their force mix I'll probably try and use the armies that I've got you know just a block of regular line infantry add some add some uh, Gurkhas to them to spice things up a bit. So we're on the offensive. Our guns are going to provide long range fire support. Our howitzers are going to provide more directed fire support. Let's make a good division to push out on the left flank where our. Yeah, good. Our riflemen are out wide. Well, I might actually make that five units of regular line to push through the open ground pass my riflemen to skirmish out wide then take two infantry units my 
engineers and line infantry to push through the town. Give them some heavy cavalry support, but also put my general with some heavy cavalry and cuirassier out wide on the left flank. First of all, let's redirect. Oh, to be honest, I may as well have all my how oh. my howitzers fire round shot because the bulk of their targets aren't actually in range. But we're going to want to push up pretty aggressively. Just attack ground some of these, well not attack ground, but you know, get these guys to run up into the town. Keep my cavalry out wide. Guns are aiming at my cavalry. Yeah, large mortars, they are a concern. So let's make my field artillery focus on these units specifically. Because if they miss, they'll do some good damage still. The unit of howitzers can focus on the general's bodyguard. Now you can see the damage they're already doing. They're knocking my troops over. So when we engage in with our um, muskets, we will be less effective because more of our units will be spending time sorting themselves out rather than actually doing damage. I do see their lances charging, but that's not a problem. Let's get my rifleman on top of the hill. You units deploy into squares, not you. Okay, let's push up our heavy cavalry quite aggressively. You men charge into the lancers. Get the engineers to form square. You men push up. Charge the Islamic swordsmen because they're wavering. We could break them. And we already have, which is great. These men out of squares. They're shattered to smash our cavalry into the dervishes. My rofermen should be able just to do some really good damage from up here, from behind the lines, without doing incurring too much friendly fire. It looks like their melee cavalry is definitely determined to face down my. face down my uh, infantry units. You guys... Okay, right. So the, the right flank in the town looks vulnerable. That regiment of foot is definitely vulnerable. Artillery's doing... <laughs> it's just absolutely opening up on them. Heavy cavalry are charging the two fangy line. Go on, break, Lance. says break. I need to swing around and hit these men because that regiment of foot is otherwise going down. Knock out the lancers. There's only 19 of them. So that regiment of foot's going to hit the dervishes to try and break the encirclement. Good. Even attack the dervishes, you guys fold in on the flank. Our general's been killed, who by? Mr. Ferrari got charged by Islamic swordsmen. Very well. Hit the great guns. The unit that's trapped is understandably quite upset, although it looks like this unit that's come in has fought their way through the line and it's prevented the encirclement. You men charge the bowmen. So I've pivoted my sharpshooters to keep them focused on 
Well, I've put, put, uh, rotated my riflemen to keep firing at the Islamic swordsmen because now the general's been killed and not really bothered. Okay, those units are broken. Let's advance our infantry up to face down the artillery. Let's rotate you men. Let's also retarget some of our guns. Yeah, the bowmen retreated, but then they've decided they do actually want to attack our line. I don't want my I don't want these Islamic swordsmen to reach my cavalry though. Quick climb, eh? They're gonna hit my riflemen, yes. Not so but not as badly as I thought they might. Advance up my troops to face down the new enemies. My heavy cavalry is mopping up. Is uh, charging whoever they can. Let's get my infantry, my cavalry up. This cavalry charge onto the levee, but that's not great. This cavalry unit will fall in the face of all that. Those the enemy support. Lances are charging, so you men deploy square. Pivot. These two formations. Like so. Pivot the riflemen with them. You men are doing a number on the dervishes, but you are elite infantry, so that's what we expect. Let's get our other cavalry in. You men are both attacking that unit of the levy, which is a bit overkill, but I'll allow it. Get our artillery engaging the general's bodyguard. Get our field artillery engaging this cluster of men. New men form square. Or reform square. New men advance on the flank. Just hold. Let's get our light cover around on the right. So we're still forming square. You men drop into square as well. So let's use these men to block the positions here. Heavy cavalry charge the Sipahi. Okay, I've been too keen pushing up that flank. You men are engaging another unit of levy. The heavy cavalry are attacking this time. You men are engaging the enemy. Don't make me start attack grounding quicklime, because I will. In fact, I am. In front of our line here is just going to be constantly, constantly deploying quicklime. Let's bring our heavy cavalry across. Advance up our infantry on the right flank. You men hop into square. Let's get our artillery out of out of um, quick out of uh, quick climb shot because we are starting to be a bit more mobile. You men charge the units of Pahi, reform square. These cuirassier engage the Islamic swordsmen. These engineers no don't. Attack, just format. How it says get out of here. The Islamic swordsmen have been routed, you men form square, pivot you guys. Riflemen keep engaging the Islamic swordsmen so they don't recover. There's a hell of a mess in the centre.
Our send is definitely going to fail. These units, they're holding firm. Okay. Hmm. Time to fall back is past. But it's not too late to just begin funneling our reinforcements into a new front line. So heavy cavalry lost, which isn't so bad. You men get out of square and engage the dervishes. Or, okay. Fall the men back, because this is, whoa, this advance into constant enemy melee attacks has been quite dangerous. Keep whatever units we can in the field fighting. Switch our some of our guns over to quick climb. Let's get one of our artillery units to face down the enemy troops there. Many, many men are routing. But still, this is you know, the the, uh, the it's the burning the burning broom meme. This is just fine. You men are in within range. Actually, to bombard the dervishes with shrapnel fire, these men are going to have to hold just to delay the advance of the enemy units. Shrapnel fire inbound. more Swiss line or more troops oh you guys are gonna have to attack them aren't you to hold them up which means there is precious little to defend our gun line so our howitzers face off the enemy troops that are advancing behind us you men continue to engage the near enemy threat. One of you continue to focus on the far enemy threat. Oh, they're almost within canister shot range. <laughs> We're now out of, so out of range, they're quick climbing their own guys. The 78th. Charge the dervishes, you men all engage the 114th Dakil. Dervish unit is probably going to rout, so charge on into the unit of Islamic swordsmen to buy time. All of our howitzers focus on Oh god What a weird direction for the reinforcements to come in. I mean I like it Because you guys can just mop up their guns. Howitzers switch to round shot, engage their general's bodyguard. Everyone engage the general's bodyguard because once the guns are gone, everyone's gone. Yeah, the army in the field have routed. Artillery. All folks fire on the general's bodyguard while uh, this force charges in to sweep up the enemy guns hopefully causing a massive rout I might even oh uh, no I'm not going to chase them down to continue the battle because that will be a real nightmare Poor, this, this was a 
a bloody action. A very bloody action. And it cost us a experienced general to get it. But nevertheless. Let's take one of our heavy cavalrymen, Alfeo Rick Ricco Riccioli. Riccioli, one of the two. So you men are gonna replenish and you're gonna be rebuilt by the troops. Here in Lahore, let's get rid of the university. Is that just the only is there only one university? A couple of pleasure gardens, which is great. We can repair the steam powered factory. But those guys have been pushed back. All of these guys have, have either run out of move or are in not excellent shape. Balthasari. But once Lahore's up and running, they can replenish pretty conclusively. Okay, you, Simone, Simone Indrizi, you are going to march here. You're going to go east. And you're going to go here. Mr. Cardano is going to march behind. And you are going to attack Muzrat Pani. Because that will also draw in this major force here crossing the river. Because hopefully we can push them both back across the river now. So lots more. A bit more of a conventional battle this time. Hopefully it will be a bit less bloody. And um, they've got lots more uh, musket armed units. So we're likely to see yeah, a bit more of a, a conventional battle. At least with the initial force. The secondary one that's coming in has more uh, melee troops at their disposal but hopefully they should be coming in from behind their line uh, maybe we won't be quite so aggressive in the attack this time we might be a bit more measured especially with this terrain let's deploy a gun take two infantry units that was you right yeah let's take this unit deploy it Take two infantry units, take this gun, deploy it, and then this is what we've got left to play with. So a good amount of infantry to cover each flank. We haven't got much in terms of how it's a fire, so we are going to need to envelop and destroy where possible. Put our cavalry out wide, general in the centre, our precious howitzer unit needs to be tasked intelligently he's going straight for those gunners those those um cavalrymen so stretch the line wide let's allow our, our artillery to do um to do some good damage because it would appear the enemy doesn't actually have that much of a Artillery force. Howitzers aren't even unlimbered. So they've got lancers and lancers. The howitzers are probably going to mostly be focusing on the musketeer units. Because we are going to want to wipe them out fairly rapidly. They can't get around the left of my position without going into this into this uh, chasm here. There we go. So how it's a fire quick climb against that unit there. The lancers are forming, well were forming diamond shape. My my stripey boys and my line infantry are ready to with, to respond. It looks like they're trying to go for my gunners, which is probably not the wisest decision for them. Hey, I told my heart just to aim at someone else. Although my field artillery now can probably switch to shrapnel shot. I mean, yeah, they're probably well, they are going to get shot to bits, even when they when they get in. They're still not going to be in great shape. 
Switch to shrapnel, focus on a musketeer unit behind the line. So let's get our cavalry into the chasm to try and flank. You guys switch to canister shot, engage the bowmen at point blank range. Take this line infantry unit and pivot. Okay, canister shot. Let's engage the enemy infantry units that are getting within range. Unit has crept within range. Oh, even for musket units, they're massing a bit close. I might get my howitzers to focus on this flank. So we're using our cuirassier to hit the Indian mercenaries, which might fall to my cuirassier charge, which if they did, that would be excellent, because we could then exploit the breakout on the flank with our Cavalry. There, these guys are here as a decoy, fundamentally. Charge the rear of the mercenaries. New men advance to form a new line. Gonna switch to shrapnel shot. Focus on the units that are coming back. And there's a unit of dervishes on the flank. Should be a really good quick climb hit. A uh, slight miss. Maybe a follow-up shell? Sadly not. Let's get the Curiosity Air to break out. The objective will be to try and get them to chase down some of these routing units to make sure they do stay that way. So you guys smash into the bowmen, hopefully knock them out fairly quick. If you, get, if you men can knock out the bowmen pretty quickly, you can then go take out the dervishes. Team have hit the dervishes. Let's hope they can break them. Enemy reinforcements on the horizon. So let's take our leftmost gun, set them to do counter battery. Let the cavalry loose. How archers have done a number on the third Dakiel infantry mercenary unit. My Crassier should be okay against the dervishes. Mercenaries are a bit of a concern, but not a huge one. Their, their, their um, general is charging, and I would normally like that, but they've got a dervish unit coming in, so they can actually do some actual damage. You are going to fire a round shot at a unit back here. We're going to advance our line up. So, quick line. You guys focus on them. You guys focus on that unit of pikemen. My cavalry is going to say nice and safe stay nice and safe behind my line. Most of the time at least. So there goes that, mus that musketeer unit. Definitely, now they lost a, uh, they got took a volley of quicklime fire. The general's bodyguard is wavering as he charges down a line of muskets. Does not pay the ultimate price. Yeah, 
might be might be losing. Okay, now one of the general units is gone. Are you guys actually in range? No, they're not in range. That's why you weren't firing at that unit in the distance. General's bodyguard. Getting involved. Switch my howitzers to round shot to engage the general's bodyguard. Fighting my cavalry. Get these cuirassiers to deploy. You men are going to absolutely tear this Kizilbashi musketeer unit to pieces. Who are you shooting at? Oh, that unit. They're shattered. The 43rd are about to go down. You men pivot to face that unit. Let's take our line pretty much and form it up in front of that. Oh, maybe not that far ahead. Those can't. Those um. Those uh, camels might be quite aggressive. So our cavalry's our cavalry's broken on the right flank, understandably, because I was shelling the hell out of the combat as well, but I didn't really have a choice. So all my artillery here switched to round shot, focus fire the general's bodyguard. I could have charged my marines in, but to be honest, I'd rather have them make ready and engage the units as part of a strong line. Yeah, they're trying to go wide, but they're still within range. Yep. <laughs> we weren't going to get away from it that easy. Okay, so there's the enemy. The enemy guns on the hill. Let's get our cavalry to engage. That. I want to push my guys at least in front of the. this mound. All my guns focus on that unit of horsemen. Who's that? It's another general's bodyguard. Not interested. Get out of here, cavalry. We're about to see a massive amount of infantry enter the field. This general's bodyguard is upset. But this unit, this army coming in, we need to remember they do have more. Um, they do have more melee troops. Okay, so we're going to need to position our line carefully. Got my guns to try and, where possible, limber up so they can advance. Keep my field artillery firing. African infantry guards are in bounds. They can take position on my left flank. So, a unit of horsemen continuing to push. Okay, let's give them targets. Give my gunners targets, that is. Yep, you can continue engaging with your bow fire, but you will find it quite futile. As if my artillery doesn't <laughs> doesn't start hitting any time anytime soon. Yeah, there we go, they lost a handful more guys from some good fire there. Okay, they've fallen. Okay, you men push up and use this raised feature to anchor your flank. That gives you guys the opportunity to advance up onto this high ground and force their left flank. African infantry guards have a reasonable way to go yet. Yeah, they're engaging us quite heavily with artillery fire. 
but their reliance on irregular troops and melee troops will cost them dearly. Yeah, don't worry, I see you Islamic swordsmen. Okay, maybe position you like so to engage that levy unit and these three units can try and push the flank. They're quite weak but they are going to be good enough. So you men are going to pour fire into this unit of Islamic swordsmen. Shaken. Wavering. So charge our cuirassier in. Uh, they've steadied up. Charge your African infantry guards in. Okay, both of these units attack the dervishes. Pick new artillery targets because the charge is on. Our guns halt where they are and unlimber. We've knocked out the Islamic swordsmen, so our African infantry guards take position. On the flank, advance our cuirassier up. You're going to try and pour fire into the Islamic swordsmen as well. Our cuirassier are going to try and engage them and chase them off because that unit is ripe to return. But let's try and definitely make this unit shatter. Human quick lime potential fratricide risks here. Okay, they're shattered. Pull my cavalry back. Ooh, excellent shot there. Let's advance my right flank up. There we go. That that shattered the men on that flank there. Got some marines right here if you want to try your luck, dervishes. Shattered, broken. Well, that's pretty good. Okay, you men try and engage that unit of Islamic swordsmen. This unit try that unit of Islamic swordsmen. Yeah, they have returned. Okay, so our cavalry. Get over here. Even though we've surrounded this dervish unit and we are winning, they could use that as an opportunity to push our flank. Try and run these men down the hill to charge into the rear of this combat over here. You men pivot. Let's bring our heavy cavalry back over onto the left flank. There's that Islamic swordsman unit back that was routed but now is not. Okay, these two units should tear the dervishes a new one because they are pretty much attacking a unit of marines, which is a terrible idea. Get that unit to engage the dervishes, get these units to form an advanced line to provide some semblance of cover. You men also engage the swordsmen. Let's push these line these units forward like so. So these three units should be free to engage and chew up the dervishes. Same with you guys, really. Uh, Islamic swordsmen have charged us. These three units should chew up that unit. Again, it's going to be another bloody action. Oh, especially that. <sighs> Switched around shot. Engage the guns to the rear. Although it looks like it was fairly effective. Throw these men into the combat over here. Push up another infantry unit to help out. Take everyone except our cavalry 
out on this flank to push them up. So you need to charge in. You need to charge in. I wanted you guys to flank, but it looks like you're not going to get that opportunity, but you can charge into the rear of this combat here. Good. The, the levy have broken. They all focus on the Islamic Swordsman unit. Secure the air hold back. This action over here is still ongoing. Well, the dervish is down to 71 men, so it shouldn't last that long. I mean, this unit, they might be... Islamic Swordsmen will definitely exact toll in this combat, but it's not going to be unstoppable. To be honest, let's bring our general around to attack the artillery. There we go. So our men up here have knocked out that dervish unit. Just keep throwing bodies into this particular unit. Because again, if there's one thing we're not short of, it's troops. Engage the dervishes. Cease fire with all our artillery. These men cease fire. Let's give a new unguarded or non-guard mode attack order for them. There go the guns. We are going to continue. Chiefly to just make sure we knock out their artillery. charge on and take out their gunners. Although these guys, oh, that gun team might escape. Very well. To be honest, lots of these units are going to escape, as is this dervish unit. So again, that was a quite another bloody action, really. But it was still a decisive victory. I don't mind having bloody actions as long when I've got so many troops backing me up as I have on this front. Because there we go, that's cleared largely cleared the river without having to call on reinforcements. So we can begin to squeeze that crossing so that we maintain control of it. Obviously Michel Contarini could make a push for a Medabad, but I would like to try and secure... Oh, oh that was a didn't like me zipping across the screen like that. Signore. Pietro. Let's give him an attack order for a Medabad. But I would like Nerun to be secured. Let's recruit a sloop to occupy this port. Let's occupy... Recruit a sloop to occupy this port. We've got another force which, to be honest, is likely to actually be sent to the Americas because we don't really have a requirement for more troops in India I don't think although actually you, means you can get you can go there you can go to Bandar Abbas eh just sail around the enemy ship <laughs> there we go because we we control the Indian coast although Actually, it looks like we might have to do a bit of an emergency public order program. Ew, yeah. I got a bit punchy there, because you guys aren't going to get back there in time. So let's get some Dragoons for garrison duty. Because we can buy ourselves a turn. Next turn this army can pull back if it needs to. I'm not going to do any more fighting here. Well, I think you could attack Mr. Bora there, but I want to hit I want to hit in turn to see what the enemy does before doing too much more. Yes. I want yeah, so I want to hit in turn to see what the enemy does without before I 
doing too much myself here. So Patna, we're destroying. Hartford, we're destroying. Kurnool, we're destroying. Kasur, we're destroying. Good. So let's hit end turn. <laughs> yeah, our spies and our agents and everyone that's still making their way towards India, but it'll be over long before they are uh, necessary. <laughs> Okay, because yeah, we are still squeezing the Mughals in the Americas, but to be honest, we've shattered them in their home continent, so I do really want to see how they respond. Yeah, yeah, because we, we've also landed eight stacks in Florida, so, you know, they've got to do something about that. <laughs> Massing around Niagara... There we go. Some troops are now marching towards Florida to respond to our attacks. But yeah, fundamentally, as a faction, they're a bit stuffed because they don't have the... Yeah, and they're getting... They're being rebelled against. Um, but they don't have the, the mass or the strength to... Which is, which is a bit different. They are different. I consider strength to be armies of good units. Mass is just sheer numbers in india they don't have sheer numbers they might have in the the americas but they don't have them in india so we can just keep squeezing them in the americas keep taking incremental gains as and when it is not easy but you know um advantageous to do so like our push towards maine and boston that wasn't really driven by need it was the fact that we had an opportunity so we went for it it might even take a couple of turns for our troops to be ready or our, our armies to be replenished but you can see they are combining their troops but if they want to try and attack us in florida they are going to be in a they're going to be in a real real bind there's not really a lot they can do. The Plains Nations peoples are offering peace, or want peace, and no. My offer was sincere, as was my denial, good sir. But yeah, there's, there's a lot more armies to fight. Oh no, they sabotaged my pleasure gardens. Good, lots of our armies are back in fighting shape. And we have our first unit of Gurkhas. Let's so use this unit of Gurkhas to bolster Baldassare Minicello, Minicello's force because he's in, he's in a pretty good way. So you can push ahead of Lahore. Uh, okay, let's not issue everyone orders yet. So you are going to retrieve, or you're going to get a unit of, let's get a unit of company infantry. You're needed. You're definitely needed there to cover the bridge. We're going to definitely do fighting around here. You men can replenish. You guys push up. Michel, push up to see if you can threaten the enemy. You can push up and secure the bridge, because I'm pretty sure Nerun is going to be okay without our... Ooh. Did they actually... They actually rebelled. So this army is going to come back and deal with the rebels. Okay, now they are no longer rebelling, which is nice. That's all the Gurkhas you need. Not the Gurkhas, Dragoons. You, that's all the Dragoons you need. Go is okay. Mysore is okay. We can't tax them yet. You're okay. I mean, to be honest, there's just lots of... Well, you men... I think these guys are, like, tucked in here. I don't think they can actually get up 
they can transit this river. You can you'll be ready to hit Jai Abdullah, you both these armies require a reasonable amount of replenishment. Madnagar, yeah, you're recovering these troops here. To be honest, there's a lot of a lot of stuff we can do. But one thing we can do is push in Bangalore. So you can push up to these pleasure gardens. You men are with Nino Chetti. Your forces aren't up to strength, but you can push as well. Start to put Akbarabad under pressure, which is quite heavily garrisoned in all possible ways. Probably don't want to push. Well, these guys all still need a whole bunch of replenishment. Yeah, you men can hold the line while while we replenish before we engage these two forces. You can replenish and hold the line while Mr. Mat Mr. Uh, Matarazzi is going to advance the road to Bengal. Can his infantry leave Katak? Minus two. To be honest, they will probably, if they push down this way, we can make combine a force out of the garrisons of Calcutta and Katak. Let's do some building, and then I'll end the episode on a um, setting up for a battle, because we do have uh, plenty of stuff we can be getting on with. Let's keep growing the economy. We've got a whole bunch of new regions to build in because they will be. Um, their schools have been destroyed. Good. Let's upgrade the port here, and the roads are actually pretty good. Keep building seminaries, keep spreading Catholicism, keep everyone happy. Yeah, rebellion in Bihi in Satara in, well, in the in Satara's province, but that's been dealt with. Workers are on strike in Karnataka, not anymore. Workers on strike in Bengal, again, not anymore. Workers on strike in Mysore, not anymore. Workers on strike in Katak, not anymore. Workers on strike Punjab, again, not anymore. Good stuff. Okay. think the best thing to do is probably take an army like Mr. Schiavone or maybe even take Leonardo Buffon and hit Masrat, Masrat Pani, push them east and then we can bring some of these armies down and push them more into this sort of area. I think that's probably a good idea. So I'm going to take Arnaldo because he's got the most amount of firepower to bring to bear. Mass my armies nearby. If they try to um, intercept us, then that wouldn't be a good outcome for them. Plenty of battles to fight to the south of the river too. Let's take Arnaldo, make sure he's directly west of the army, then hit them. Excellent. <laughs> Truly massing our, our strength here. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for yet more battling against the, the Mughal Empire. Cheers, everyone.